It's the final of the women's 60 meters. 60 meters final. Eight athletes, a fantastic lineup. Champions across the world in World Championships, Olympic Games, and in World Indoor Championships as well. Who will rise and come to the fore? Ahure was sensational in the semi finals. Let's introduce the eight athletes. First of Here all, they three come. time the US Collegiate Champion for it's Jamaica, Ramona Virgil, involved in that really tight finish with Michelle Liai in the Michelle semi-final. So there's a dead heat between the two. Michelle Liai. The Zai came, out, came out there in lane Michelle one. Lee. Personal best in the heat. Michelle Liai there, who we were talking about with that real battle with Ramona Virgil in the semi-final. Daphne Skippers, second in Portland. Can she go better in Birmingham? The Olympic gold medalist from Here's Elaine Thompson. Thompson. Missed out in London at the World Championships after a great year in Rio. The world and Olympic silver medalist at the 100 meters. Here's the third fastest qualifier, one of two Ivorians in this final who are dangerous, Marie Josie Talou. And here's Kambunji, European bronze medalist. And very impressive. And here's the world leader now in 2018. Perhaps the one to beat on the night, Muriel Uhuri. Those are your eight athletes. Atmosphere building inside Arena Birmingham for a big, big final. Yeah, and just to say, actually, I really like the way that they're doing the, the, the invite of the athletes. They're going from lane eight to lane one, building all the way to the middle lanes, which is where they see they think that all the main action is going to be. So I really like that way of doing that. It's going to be an absolutely on fire, red hot final. Maybe warm us all up a little bit before we all go home. Oh. Ahure set the mark, on your mark. in the semi-final. But you know there is so much competition there from the likes of Skippers, Thompson, Talou. Skippers edged out to the silver in Portland. Two-time world champion settling down. Women's 60 meters final. Zahi, Skippers, Thompson, Ahuri, Kambunji, Talou, Liai, Birchill. Birmingham is waiting with bated breath. They're away first time. It's a really good start from Ahuri. She's got a yard on Thompson to Luke on this one. This is all about Ahuri. And Ahuri is the world champion in 6.97 seconds. She was sensational in the semi final, but she's even better now. What a performance! What a run! Nurel Ahuri is the world champion here in Birmingham. And that was explosive. She blew away some of the fastest women in the world. All hail Ahure here in Arena Birmingham. That was absolutely one of the best races. The way that she just absolutely got out of those blocks and dominated that race from the beginning. What a fantastic race. And I mean, it is a 1-2 as well for the Ivory Coast with Tolu confirmed in second. Oh, wow. You know, Christian and I were sitting here kind of writing down our predictions of who we thought was going to get in the top three. And Christian had it quite close with Ahure, Kambunje, Kambunje and then Talu. And it was really close on the line. We actually thought he got it right. Um, amazing. What an absolutely fantastic women's final. 6.97. And Kambunji's just learned that she's got the bronze in what was a really, really tight finish behind Ahure, who streaked away from the rest, matching times with Tolu. Kambunji got third, edging out Elaine Thompson of Jamaica, who is being confirmed now in fourth position. But Ahure set a world lead mark in the semi-final and then smashed it again in the final to go sub seven seconds. And it's a night for the Ivory Coast to enjoy. How amazing. They came into this 
Kalu and Ahure came into this both with season's best of 7.07, identical times. Um, so to go under seven seconds, 6.97, a world lead and a personal best. Well, actually, is it her personal best? I'm sure it is her personal best. So, you know, it just shows the way that she reacted, that scream just shows how much it means to her. Absolutely fantastic. She's shaped two one hundredths of a second off her personal best indoors, going from 6.99 down to that 6.97 mark. And there uh, she's just joining Kambunji. They will be on the podium. What a trio, what a performance. The likes of Skippers couldn't keep pace with them on the night. She was beaten down into fifth place. Well, Talu confirmed with a 7.05 mark and also a personal best just. Kambunji has a personal best at her national championship that she did, which I think was 7.03, so yes, she so was the, pretty close too. The only one of the three uh, not to run at fastest ever, but she has run to bronze. And look at the... Expression on her face, delight. Bronze medalist in a world championship. She was a bronze in the Europeans as well. But there's a picture that will be proudly beamed around the world and particularly across Africa, and here it is again. I've been waiting to see this. I mean, she literally explodes out of that, those blocks like a bullet, and she dominates the race from the beginning. I mean, there's daylight between her and the rest of the field, and, you know, that was a really confident and dominant performance, and that's one of the words you wrote down, didn't you, Christian? Confident. Yeah, she looked really confident coming into the stadium as well, and just like she did in the semi-final, she exploding out of the blocks, takes the lead from step one, keeps going, and doesn't let up. And here you see the head-on shot. Kambunji slightly veering to her right-hand side um, of her lane. Luckily stays in the lane, because we don't want any more disqualifications as we've been seeing. But as you can see here, Ahure is really aggressive. Very, very dominant. And there she goes across the line. World indoor gold medalist. It's actually really interesting, though, to see, and I don't know if anyone can tell me what this is, the first time a US athlete has not been in the top three in the, in the women's 60, because they've been a very, very dominant force yeah. in the sprints. Will be one for the uh, statisticians. Confirmation of the result, the women's 60 metres final. It's an Ivory Coast 1-2. Ahuri with a world-leading mark and personal best of 6.97 to take gold. And Mary Josie Talou will be on the podium with her with the silver medal, just edging out Najinga Kambunji by five thousandths of a second, who takes the bronze. Elaine Thompson of Jamaica edged out of the medal places into fourth.